Hi, uh, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to alter save and close Excel after a certain period of time. Okay, this is the button that I created to allow the user to set the time or the duration needed. So we just double click to set the task. So for this button, I will call the user form. Okay, call the user form one to ask the user to enter the time needed. As we can see, we have two text boxes here. One is for minute and one is for second. So I will introduce two dummy, one A to record the value on the user form one for the text box one. And the second B is to record also the value on the text box one but the user form one but text box two okay after that i will transfer the total value to the second useful form on the second labor this is the first labor and this is the second labor since we are using more than one user form and if let's say we want to make sure the process runs smoothly then we have to make sure the show model for both user form already turned to false okay then we back to the task okay before we can transfer the total value of course we have to call the second user form okay then show the total value on the labor that we prepare okay since we want to total up the value okay in terms of time then we have to use the date app function a is for minute so we use small letter n okay instead of m m is for month Okay, we use n a original zero. Then we plus <coughs> did add the second value. Okay, in terms of second b zero. Okay, then remember to format. So we just format. Okay, the time, hour, minute, and second. Okay, so let's see what happened. So I click the design mode, then I set the time. So I put two minutes and five seconds. So we have two minutes, five seconds here. But how if the first text box is empty? When I set, I will come to an error this is because okay we are not able to make sure that the users will fill out everything that needed so to avoid this we just make use of the if function so if user form one dot text box one dot value is empty then a should be zero okay else is the value that we want we start with if then we end with if okay do the same thing for b change to b change to b second text box second text box okay then of course we have to show the time will remain okay not only the starting time then we have to show also the time remaining so we just make use of if else function if user form to dot labor to dot caption is 
0 means that the time is already out then we should save we use of the function active workbook dot save okay after we've saved then we close it so active workbook dot close or we can write active window dot close okay these two functions will provide the same outcome if we use either one only the workbook is closed okay not the entire excel okay then else if not then of course we have to start to count the time okay then we just make sure the time is correct we use wait function now okay wait for one second so okay start with if and with if okay of course we have to show the re time remaining so we just make use of what we have done earlier on okay then in terms of second drop every second and the original value is the value on the cap labor itself okay format okay one important step use the do events function this will allow or make sure the time remaining will be updated okay will be shown on the labor okay then we just repeat the process to repeat we just use the loop function so we introduce a dummy db true okay then we just do one d okay loop it okay how if the user want to cancel okay in certain point of time before the time is ended then we just make use of the cancel button on the second user form we just double click then we introduce a function and this will help us to reset everything and everything will back to normal okay let's see our output so set a time okay can be one minute and two seconds so one minute two seconds as we can see the time is starting okay it's counting then we just cancel okay then everything will be reset okay then how if we leave it until the time is, is out okay let's set three seconds so two one okay the workbook is already closed but not the entire excel if we want to close the entire excel okay then we have to do some amendment here okay so what we have to do we just change active workbook dot close to application dot quick okay then the entire excel will be closed okay check and see okay let's set three seconds three two one save close okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you